Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info and our Galaxy Buds Ambient Mode Showdown. Now real quick, for those of you who don't know, Ambient Mode is what Samsung calls their hear-through mode. It's called Transparency Mode on the AirPods. It's called different things by other products, but basically it's what allows you to hear the noise that's going on around you while you're listening to music or just have the buds in your ears. And the way it works is it uses the external microphones on the buds, the same ones that you would use if you were on a phone call or using your Google Assistant. It uses those mics to actually pull in the noises from the outside world that are going on around you. This is very useful for things like when you're outside running so you don't get hit by a car or if you're inside your house and you want to be able to hear that it's time for dinner or it's time for you to go make the dinner. Today we're going to be testing the ambient modes on both the Galaxy Buds Plus and the new Galaxy Buds Pro. I've already tested the transparency mode feature on AirPods Pro against the Buds Plus. I did that in a video a few months back, so if you're interested in watching that comparison, I will leave a link down in the description as well as in the little moving picture boxes at the end of this video. And while you're checking out that video, which I'm sure you're naturally going to want to do, feel free to give me a sub to the channel. Smooth. Okay, so real quick, let me explain to you how this test is going to go down. So I will be sitting in my studio uh, with the buds in my ears. My assistant, Luke, who is roughly about 12 feet away, we did measure it. Smile, Luke, act like you're happy to be here. There you go. He's going to be playing the ambient noise uh, that we're going to record. He's got a decibel meter and we will record how loud the sound has to be for me to hear it at each level of the test. And we're actually going to be running several tests with each sets of buds. So first we're gonna start with the Buds Pro. And with the Buds Pro, we're gonna test it uh, with active noise cancellation on, then with nothing on, no active noise cancellation or ambient mode. Then we're gonna test it in low, mid, high, and super high ambient modes and see it just at each level when I can hear the outside noise. And then I'm going to rerun the test with the Buds Pro with music on, on the buds that have volume see when I can hear the outside noise. And then we're gonna rerun all the tests again with the music in my ears at full volume. And then we're gonna run all the same tests again after that with the Buds Pro, uh, I'm sorry, with the Buds Plus. Yeah, Buds Plus, except with no active noise cancellation because the Buds Plus don't have them. Okay, so first test is the pros with active noise cancellation turned on. Go, hear it. Barely. Now we're gonna test everything off, active noise cancellation and ambient mode. Right here. So real quick, we're gonna do a quick drop test. I actually had a viewer ask me about this. He's like, if I have ambient mode on when something like loud happens in the background, uh, what's that gonna do to my ears? And I told him I'm like, well, I'm not sure. So we're gonna do a drop test real quick and see while this thing's in its highest ambient mode and see just how loud that is. Okay, go ahead and go drop something. Uh, go get one of the metal weights. That was loud, but I don't think it was like ear damagingly loud. Yeah. Let me try it. Let me turn the ambient mode down to its lowest setting and try it again. Not much difference, to be honest. I feel like there's like a limit to how loud the noise can be coming in through the buds. So I definitely think it would be startling to have something like that happen, but I don't know that it's any worse than if you weren't wearing the buds. I feel like it's probably about the same, to be honest. It doesn't like amplify it to the point that it's gonna blow out your eardrums. At least that's my thought. Okay, now we're gonna run through the same series of tests again. Well, not the drop test, but we're gonna run through all the same series of tests again uh, with the pros, with music, and then with the Buds Plus, and then we will give you the final results. Okay, so after our first round of tests, the results were less than conclusive. So we're gonna actually run through another entire series of tests this time with the human voice. Luke is actually going to recite the Pledge of Allegiance at increasing volume levels, and we're gonna do the test all over again with human voice, and we're gonna see what the differences are. Okay, so I have the results in front of me, and they're actually quite interesting. So first off, we had to scrap all of the tests where I was listening to music. I know I said I was gonna be listening to music at half volume, full volume, test the ambient mode that way. 
Couldn't do it because I realized as I was listening to music on both the Buds Plus and the Buds Pro, the sound profiles are quite different and the Buds Pro are actually way louder and, and have a, a, a deeper sound than the Buds Plus. I'm not saying the Buds Plus have a bad sound, they don't, but because their sound profiles are so different, it really was not a, uh, an accurate test to have the music on and testing the ambient mode because the music sounded so different. Additionally, with the music Luke was playing over at the computer, there really wasn't much difference between the buds either. So that's why we decided to go ahead and test the human voice as well. And we did get some more conclusive results with that. So with the human voice, he had to get loudest with active noise cancellation on with the Buds Pro. That makes sense. He had to get up to 40 when nothing was on with either sets of Buds, uh, not active noise cancellation, ambient, nothing. Very similar, okay? Definitely within the margin of error. One was 37, one was 38. Uh, and that's pretty much the way it is across the board. Uh, their numbers were very similar uh, in all modes as far as how sensitive they were. Uh, it did make a difference typically with, you know, whether it was in low or high or super high modes. But generally speaking, the ambient mode, when there's nothing going on in the buds, like if you're not listening to music or an audio book or don't have any noise coming through the buds, um, the ambient modes are very, very similar as far as what they can pick up. So what exactly did we learn here today? Well, we learned that science is sometimes messy. Um, I thought about going back and editing out a lot of this stuff and not really uh, walking through the tests that didn't work, but I decided not to do that. I think it's important for you, the viewer, to know the process and how we got to our results. Not everything works out smoothly when you test things and experiment with things. I think that's fine. I think it's important for you to know that. And certainly, while everything we tested today did not yield conclusive results, I do feel very comfortable in telling you at least one thing. The ambient modes on both these devices are very good, and one is not really better than the other. There are certainly other differences between the buds to be sure, and I will be covering those in a review down the road. But just know for now, if the hear through mode is your concern, you're gonna get a great experience with both. There's no reason to spend extra money on the pros than the buds plus. Well, that's all the useful information I have today. If you have any questions about our methodology or how we came to the results we came to that I haven't covered, please feel free to ask those questions down in the comments. I will get back to you. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.